Thank you, Lorena, for this uh, wonderful song. So I hope you stretched your legs and had a little break. Now uh, I will um, introduce uh, Liron Labi Tokenet, who unfortunately is not with us. She's somewhere in the air. Um, so, but I'm happy to have Liron here, sort of visual, um, virtually. She, uh, Liron holds a BA in Visual Communications from Shankar College in Tel Aviv and an MA in Typeface Design from the University of Reading. I think you will hear a few more times um, that one. And um, Liron is, uh, well, she describes herself as a multi-passionate design interpre interpre God, entrepreneur and a typeface designer based in Haifa, Israel. Uh, she is no, uh, most known for her project Agavrit, uh, which is kind of a, a hybrid uh, writing system combining or merging Hebrew and Arabic words. Um, the top part being the, the Arabic um, and the bottom, the, the Hebrew part, uh, kind of into this new yeah, a hybrid um, word that is legible or readable in, in both scripts. And she also writes and then actually trains uh, in productivity, in uh, productivity methodologies, proactiveness, and generally effective time management. And we'll be hearing today um, a little talk about the Alphabet Mentorship Program, which in a way, yes, it, it's an example of how to not be effective, time effective, and trying to become there, to go there. Okay, thank you. Let's play. Hi, everyone. I am so happy to be chatting to you today about the Alphabets Mentorship Program. And this is a really uh, exciting opportunity for this because we're talking today about type, design, and society. And this program is actually creating lots of connections and really, really meaningful ideas happening around it. So let's dive in. The Alphabet uh, is, is a global network, a loose network of women, and whoever identifies as women started in 2015. So it's been already six years. And the point is to support and promote the work of women in all the fields of type, typography, and lettering. And the Alphabet's uh, mentorship program began in 2016 as one of its outreach activities. It was initiated, the idea was initiated by Bianca Burning, who thought that this might be a good opportunity to create some connections and make something meaningful in the type community. So the first team of this uh, of the Alphabet's mentorship program was uh, who you're seeing now. These were the first matchmakers: Bianca Burning, Eleni uh, Beverato, uh, myself, Liron Levitulkanich, Luisa Beta, and Isabel Udinia Pena. And later on, we swapped. Uh, it's been already a few years uh, since then. This was our team uh, with Katie and Alessia. Just took over very recently. Alessia Mozzarella. So. What I want to share with you today is we're going to answer the question of what is the mentorship program, how does it work, and actually why? Why are we doing it? Why is this program even up in the air already? So, without further ado, what is the mentorship program? This program is a, is, a, is a mentorship program that means to empower newcomers as well as professionals to improve their skills, build confidence, and also immerse themselves in our field of type. And we're doing that by providing them with personal guidance and, and advice during a very specific duration and with a very specific goal. So the Alphabet's mentorship program is not equivalent to private tutoring or to any of the education programs that are out there teaching type design. It's not also type consultation for commercial projects. The principle of this program is to pair a mentee 
and a mentor together. And who's doing the pairing? The ones that are doing the pairing is us, the matchmakers. So the mentee can be a student, it can be an entry level practitioner, it can be a seasoned professional. We've got people from all spectrums of the experience. But this person wants to improve their skill or to build confidence. And although we encourage mentees from all genders to apply to the program, we are particularly welcoming women and members of un underrepresented groups. So the mentor is any professional, any gender, who volunteers to share times, experience, and knowledge, and to guide a mentee uh, during this uh, set, set, uh, set of duration and goal, and help them navigate through it. Our mentees and mentors are located all across the globe, as you can see. And we've got a few graphs for you. So this is our mentor gender composition as of the last term. And this is our mentees gender composition. So you can see how it divides, kind of. And the pairs, uh, this is the gender composition. So since Alphabet supports and promote the work of all women in our fields. We will always pair a man with a woman in our matchmaking process or a woman with a man. And also whoever identifies as a woman or non-binary. Uh, so out of 325 mentee applications since 2019, um, and we only made, only, we made 280 matches, which is actually a really big number. Uh, so you can see that we haven't matched everyone just yet for this term, uh, but we will always have more mentees applying than mentors. So something really important is that the application for mentors is open all year round. However, we do have two terms during the year. We have an autumn term and a spring term, and the mentees can apply only during these set times. This gives us an opportunity to collect a lot of amazing mentors and professional mentors throughout the year. And then we match them whenever the mentees apply. So we, we have a, a very focused time on working on these matches, which is actually right happening these days because we close applications at the end of October. So we finish a term by thanking our mentors. Some of our incredible mentors are agreeing to give more of their time to have another mentee. So we've got a few mentors that are definitely rock stars. They've been doing many rounds and it's always something different each pair and we'll get into that in a tiny bit. So we've had 224 mentors since 2019 and more are joining. So this is a really good opportunity to do a shameless plug and to say that we need more women mentors. So if you are listening to this and you can consider the time and the energy and you've got some professional experience, we need you. So how does this program work and how does everything connect and apply and you know, we try not to break it during, during this time. So on our website, we have the links to the application forms and some explanations about the program. Whenever someone applies um, to this uh, designated form is really the first step uh, for both the mentee and the mentor. They're both applying in different forms. And this is the place where we first learn about what the mentee is looking to accomplish during this program and what the mentor can help with. So we're asking both the mentee and the mentors a couple of identical questions to create some data funnel. So both mentors and mentees need to choose the field in which they want to work in. So we've got a few fields for that. We've got type design, we've got font production, we've got lettering, and we also got typography. And some people want some of each, but we really try to narrow it down and to be a specific ask them to be as specific as they can. This really helps making the matches uh, work well together. So within this specific field, they need to choose one topic that they wish to focus on during the mentorship. 
And sometimes, again, the choice is kind of uh, hard. So they can either choose to work on community or, and nonprofits. They can choose to work on research and education. And they can choose to work on portfolio or something about the industry. So professional industry advice and networking business advice. And this really helps us to automatically identify potential pairs. So we're narrowing it down and we've got it kind of grouped. So we know that if a mentor wants to give guidance in portfolio, we will most likely pair him with a mentee who wants some help with their portfolio. So this is our field composition. As for now, you can see that there is mostly type design. Type design. And you can also see the topic composition, which is uh, the largest right now is portfolio. And then both the mentors and mentee, they have only three options for the duration of the mentorship. And we learned this um, that it's really better to have a specific date to start and an end date for that. Sometimes pairs do extend their program. And again, it's done officially by us. So they can choose if they want to work for one month together for three months, or they want a really longer uh, mentorship program for six months. And this also helps the pairs identify and define the scope of the mentorship. So if they're ha having more time, they know they can dig deeper. Uh, if they have a very short time, they might really choose something very specific, a very specific problem they want to solve or in, uh, something they want to tackle. So while there are several me mentorship management uh, solutions and systems, they are very costly. And since we're doing this on a volunteer base, uh, both of us, the matchmakers and our mentors and Alphabet as a whole, uh, we really try to gather the data and manage it. And we came up with two online tools that we're using for free. We're using Hubs HubSpot and Zapier and of course Google Form and Google Drive to put our things in there. Um, so HubSpot is a CRM and Zapier allows to connect, uh, integrate web applications. And this really helps us to create some workflow that we can, we can uh, work on and it wouldn't be a huge time waste. And it gives us enough structure and flexibility, uh, allows some level of automation and also it lets us create very accessible record of all the communication with the participants, which has also been proved very helpful and we share their workload uh, between us no f no friction actually uh, we're using a rotary system so this means that on a weekly basis uh, only one of us is on duty and we're working on several things we're working on matchmaking new pairs and follow up uh, on existing pairs seeing how they're doing uh, solving problems if they come up and also we're passing the information for the next matchmaker that that she's on duty. So uh, periodically we come together and we catch up, improve our workflow, plan for some activities or additions to the program. Uh, we also talk about the problems that, ar that arose and we also always try to really um, make things better, improve our systems. So why do we do it? <laughs> why is the mentorship program even happening? So we do it because we really experience a transformative power of this program uh, in action. And we realize that it is possible to, me to build meaningful connections within our community, within our type community, uh, connections that are making our community better. And we can go on to tell you about the many success stories of the mentorship program. Uh, but today, let's just use a few examples for this. Before we go in, um, another important note is that the Alphabet Mentorship Program actually gives an opportunity for people who wouldn't be able to go study in one of the academic courses that are, there are out there uh, for any reason. And they might not even get access to these professionals on the field, on our field. And this is something that we also saw with our mentors how much it means a lot to them to step out of ourselves and our work and our tasks and our typefaces or research or education or whatever we're doing, uh, just to look at our fields of type by zooming out for a moment. 
seeing what's what's happening, helping someone during during this time of the program, but also learning about ourselves by teaching, by helping someone navigate, by guiding someone. We learn a lot about ourselves and we've been seeing this time and time again from our mentors. So um, as I said, our mentees and mentors are located all across the globe and we've been trying to come up with some sort of party that we can do whenever everyone's around and COVID is happening and no one can actually physically meet. We decided to do an Alphabet Mentorship Showcase Party. So in one of our terms, we chose 10 mentees and mentors and the mentees actually gave a talk and they explained about the projects they were tackling, how they handled it, how the communication went with their mentors and it was so much fun. So uh, a couple of our mentees and mentors, uh, this is mentee Asmita Jalali, uh, she's from India and mentor Amelie Bonnet from France. And Amita says, and I'm going to read this to you because it's just so, so lovely. As Mita says, I'm grateful for the Athletes Mentorship Program for assigning me with this powerful mentor. It was a great experience. Amelie was able to provide me with guidance, which helped me in achieving greater clarity and direction in my project and my future endeavors. And she was also showing her work during this online party, showing the process, showing all the nitty gritty. Uh, this is Menti Tatiana Lopez from El Salvador. Uh, she's been with her mentor for years, Petra Turne Open from Slovenia. Um, even Tatiana visited Slovenia for a semester. And Tatiana says, having a mentor made a big difference. Petra opened my eyes to a new way of seeing design and made me feel very welcome in the design world. And thanks to her, I have become more curious to know more and more. And this is such a huge, huge win um, because Tatiana won the Beatrice Ward Scholarship and the mentees, they go on, they win awards, they win scholarships, they publish their articles, they speak at conferences. Uh, this is a uh, mentee, Raffia Jessa from Italy and her mentor, Andre, uh, and uh, Andre Orgada from Romania. And Rafia was working on her lettering before the mentorship program and her mission or her goal, for just to give you an, an one example, her goal was to turn her lettering into a working typeface. So while she was doing it, she was speaking about how much Andre taught her about letting go, about the systems, about systemizing things, about what really needs to be cleaned up and simplified. So this was an added value uh, in addition to the work that she was doing. And so sometimes our mentees, they later on become mentors. Sometimes they give talks, as you can see, uh, of Carolina's talk in Ate Pai, for instance. And another example is Kritika's talk in Type Weekend. And sometimes um, just not only going through this route of gaining an expensive education, we show that there is another way to get this guidance, to get this knowledge. And, and since this expensive education is only available in certain places, there are so many places around the globe that just don't have access to it. So Kritika shared her first attempt in Gujarati type design, and this was just now. And here we also we want to share some sentiments from our mentors. So, I have any friends. It was nice to see that someone else is doing in it in a different part of the world. It was also really wonderful to see his growth over time. It was terrific to see my mentee grow in skill and confidence during the short time we've been working together. It's great to see, learn the challenges and issues facing a working designer. I'm often off in my font-related bubble. This is a great educational model for the future. It's got the right energy, it is global and open, and caters for real thirst for knowledge. This is something we've been seeing about our mentees. They are thirsty for knowledge, for guidance, for help in navigation. And 
we cannot give this talk or talk about the Alphabet's mentorship program without mentioning COVID because um, some people did have to stop the program uh, for several reasons, a variety of reasons. Um, but sometimes people uh, were able to actually maintain this connection to our field of type, even when it felt impossible, even if there were no conferences to physically go to. Uh, and actually the world kind of became a bit smaller and a bit more democratized. So people could reach lots of places that they couldn't. And if we wouldn't be looking at time zones, we would definitely match people from the antidotes of the world. So, uh, once again, I'm calling, and uh, on behalf of all the team, we are calling all the mentors, possible mentors out there to join us. We promise that we will take good care of you. Thank you, everyone, and stay safe. women come and mentor with us it is indeed a, a really really cool experience in most cases we try to do our best um, for uh, the best matches as possible and uh, at the moment we are in the new term so we are kind of trying to to match new new mentees with new mentors and we are really lacking female women wonderful mentors so come come please and and join their the program which i believe uh, we believe is an important one for building building bridges uh, between cultures you've seen that there are a lot of uh, different people of different uh, countries involved and speaking of building bridges mm -hmm.